the first thing you gonna I think about was the first time I met Javon, and he was at Oak Hill Middle School, and I was meeting with the eighth grade guys in December, and I specifically remember my booster club president Cedric Davis saying to me, "Hey man, there's a kid over here named Bullet. He is a guy. He's a dude. He's a great track kid. He was telling me all about it." And I said, well, don't tell me who he is. I want to figure it out. The whole time I'm talking to the kids, he's literally in my mouth. He's just staring at me. Never no facial expression. But what he was doing was paying attention to what I was saying. And after it was over, I called him over to me. I said, come here, son. Tell me your name. He said, my name is, I said, Javon Bullock. He said, how do you know who I am, coach? I said, I heard some things about you. He said, I heard some things about you, too. Good things, coach. He said, I'm going to be a difference maker for you. And from that day on, our relationship has just fostered into something that's a father-son type deal. Uh, and I feel that way about all my players. I really do. I feel like I was put here to serve them, so like my own kid. But Javon has always been a, a very intense football player. He's always been that guy. If the kids say that, people say that. But he's always been that, that guy. He's a very intelligent football player. He's a very smart student. Uh, he's the kind of kid, man, that you knew that as long as this, that program was in his hands, the right person had it. That's on the field and off. Great student, great football player, tremendous teammate. Now, I'm not going to tell you he was perfect because he's not. None of us are. Him but one perfect being, we know who that is. But at the end of the day, if there was a picture in a dictionary of a great football player, student athlete, Javon's picture ought to be in there in the dictionary next to that. It's kind of kid he is. Great home, tremendous parents. Um, I've coached some good ones here. I really have. But he is in the upper echelon of those players on the field, but he's also, as a person, he's the kind of person that, he's the kind of guy when he walks into the room, everybody kind of lights up because they know that what he is is genuine. He's extremely unique, but he's also very good at what he's extremely gifted, but he's also very humble, and that's what I appreciate about him. Are you in any way, shape, or form, obviously, from this past year, seeing his breakout? Are you surprised at anything, or you just knew it was a matter of time that it was going to be able to be on display? I just really thought it would happen a little bit faster, but I mean, I'm biased. I'm his coach. You know, I, I, I saw it for four years. I mean, some of the things that he does on the field now is just something that you saw on an everyday basis, and especially on Friday night. When the lights come on and it's time to perform, Javon was never the type of guy that was going to back away from anything. He's the, he, he had that, you know, people say, who wants to, like Michael Jordan wants the ball in the, in the fourth quarter and, and the game's on the line. He was that type of guy. And, and, and it, it wasn't an arrogance. It was more of a confidence. And a calm confidence, a humble confidence. But I thought he would play a little bit more. But that's just... When you play in the SEC and you play on one of the best defenses in the country, you play on one of the best programs in the country, that says a lot that they wanted him. And then he was a three-star, and nobody really thought, you know, who's Javon Bullock? He's three-star, what are we doing with the threes? And people, see, you can put stars on people, but you can't measure that guy's intellect and his heart and his want to. He's not the biggest guy on the defense now. But when you see, when it's time to make a tackle and people run at him, he makes a play. When guys try to get up underneath him and he go and he goes, man, he's got to trail that guy, you can't throw the ball in there. I've heard coaches say that. And it's the same thing. I think Javon could probably play either one of those positions. He could play corner, he could play safety, he could play, he could play that star position that he plays now. But uh, I'm not surprised at what he's doing. I just knew the kind of guy he was. I, it might happen a little bit sooner, but it's perfect timing. God's timing is always it's perfect timing for what's going on right now.